<laughs> we're going to jump right into it um, so that way we don't waste anyone's time. So thank you again for joining and we are going to be covering Watersmark, Watersmart Leak Alerts um, today. So first, uh, Watersmart rollout has been occurring um, over the past couple of years. Um, Scottsdale Water has been installing advanced metering infrastructure, or AMI. Uh, it's a very complex process because we have to have the proper infrastructure in place in order to relay that information from your meter back to us. Um, and again, it's a multi-year process. Our expected completion date is June of 2023. However, um, due to the uh, holdups in infrastructure, um, there has been some need to adapt. So I wouldn't hold us to June 2023, but we're working very hard for it. Uh, this presentation will focus on leak alerts, which is only available with that hourly AMI data. Um, so if you see on the, on the map on the right, the areas in the blue have that capability right now. Now I captured this image uh, in February of 2022, um, yesterday. So over time, that's going to continue uh, to update. Uh, so you can check in on that online. You can visit it um, at scottsdaleaz.gov backslash water backslash water smart, which is also a great um, kind of wealth of information for everything related to the water smart program. Um, so we're going to continue assuming you have AMI data. Um, if you have questions about uh, your account and you don't have AMI data, please reach out to us um, and at the Water Conservation Office. So the, there are always traditional methods of leak detection, whether or not you have that hourly data. Every water meter comes equipped with a low flow indicator. If the low flow indicator is constantly turning or moving, you have a leak. Uh, you can check the low flow indicator at any time by locating your water meter, removing the lid um, for the box and looking at the dial. Of course, you always wanna take precautions when doing that. Um, sometimes there's critters in the box or the box to be full of dirt. Uh, for a more in-depth and step-by-step -step explanation, please visit smarthomewaterguide.org or watch our leak videos that are available on Scottsdale's YouTube channel. How do you access the WaterSmart portal? Well, Scottsdale decided that we wanted to provide a single sign-on service. Um, and so we decided to utilize our current online utility account system. So once you're signed into the online utility account, you can go back and forth between that and WaterSmart without having to re-enter a password. To get to the WaterSmart portal from the online utility account, you'll click on the blue WaterSmart button, which should be up in the right-hand corner, top right-hand corner of the page. Um, for more information about signing up or accessing your online utility account, please contact Utility Billing as that is their portion that they um, are able to see and help you with. We're from the Water Conservation Office, so we're more of the interpretation of the water use data and how you can use that to become more efficient. Uh, again, I took the screenshot of what the website looks like right now. There's always a chance it can change in the future, um, but you can go to uh, scottsdaleaz.gov backslash utilities, um, and you can scroll down and either register as a new user or log into your current account. Once you get to click inside over to WaterSmart, you'll see a page that looks like this. Uh, it might change a little bit, um, varying on who uh, is logging in. Um, because your notifications uh, may be different depending on different characteristics you have in your home. Um, for the pay bill portion, um, this is just a general screenshot from WaterSmart, um, but that if you wanna view your bill or pay your bill and you click that button, it's going to take you back to your online utilities account to do that. You cannot pay bills um, through WaterSmart, but you can track your usage, and you can get some great insights on how to be more efficient at your home. So we're going to go to the track tab. Um, when opening the track tab on your desktop, it will default to the daily use for the last two weeks. The dates are indicated at the bottom of the graph. 
right down there. So this one was starting at Friday, October 22nd, um, 12 a.m. midnight. And the gallons of water used run along the left side, right up there. And blue is normal use, which indicates um, that the algorithm did not pick up any potential leaks. It's just considered normal use from, for your home, could be showers, dishwashers, anything like that. And then orange indicates where there could be a potential leak. Um, and then there is also these gray bar areas. I know they're a little hard to see, um, but they look like a gray and white hash. Um, and that is when data um, was unavailable. And there could be several different reasons for that. Um, mostly it has to do with the transmittance of that data. It could be that inside the, the valve box or the meter box um, was wet with water from irrigation. So if you have a meter box that's maybe located in grass, um, we tend to see this happen more often because the whole um, box is getting soaked from over irrigating. Um, there could also be critters that are chewing wires. Um, the transmitter could be knocked over. Um, or if you park over it or put any other thing on top of the meter box, it may stop transmission. Uh, you can also see when it was last updated. Uh, for this, it was November 4th at 5 p.m. Um, WaterSmart data will be about 24 hours behind. And you can find the last updated time right there. Um, to see your hourly water use, you must be logged into a desktop or a tablet. Mobile devices can view daily and weekly totals, but don't have the hourly use um, by day option. So from your desktop computer, click on day to open your hourly water use. So now we're in day and you can see it breaks down the day by each hour. As you can see here on the bottom bar, you can hover over each hour and it will give you um, a, a better snapshot of how many gallons you used for that hour. So between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m., five gallons was used. Um, also note that the last time again was at 5 p.m. that it updated. So there is that black bar on the left. So there's no data um, from 5 p.m. moving forward. So um, we tried to, uh, again, submit that data over to WaterSmart to give you um, the past 24 hours. Uh, so just be aware it's not that perhaps your meter may not be working or recording that information anymore. It's just that we haven't perhaps gotten that data over yet. If you hover over six, seven or 8 a.m., you will see zero gallons were used. This indicates that at this time period, there is no continuous use that is being detected. So let's jump into what continuous use looks like on these graphs. Now, remember a couple of slides ago uh, when we were talking about understanding your water use, the orange that populated from October 24th through October 28th means there was continuous use, but it stopped before the 29th. This could have been an irrigation leak that was repaired or a toilet valve that was repaired or replaced. So let's further uh, investigate perhaps what this leak could have been um, on October 24th, right there and see what the hourly usage looks like. On October, October 24th, you can see there are periods of time where no water was used in the morning. Uh, you can see that there, there's no bars on the graph. And then at, that afternoon is when the algorithm picked up on continuous use and marked it in orange, starting right there. If you hover over any time frame during the leak, it will further break down the total use and what it considers to be a leak. The algorithm takes into account that there may be normal daily water use going on during some of those hours. So the, washing your hands, taking a shower, um, normal irrigation times, um, which is why the bars are divided into blue and orange or normal and a possible leak. Whatever the minimum amount that is flowing continuously each hour is categorized as the possible leak. So you can see the use fluctuates throughout the day and evening, but is never less than 11 gallons per hour as seen at noon. Therefore, the leak is estimated to be at 11 gallons per hour. 
uh, you can continue to see this leak um, as it continues on through the days by clicking on the gray arrow to the right to navigate to the next day. Now, this is the next day, October 25th. Um, you can tell that there's continuous use two ways. First off, the algorithm has flagged it for you, so you can see it in orange. And second, you can just take a visual inspection and notice that every single hour of the day, you are using at least 11 gallons and there are no periods of zero gallons used. When you're looking at this information, be sure to consider your daily schedule. Um, think about when you normally leave from home, when you come home. In this instance, there's two spikes at about 3 a.m. and 5 p.m. Those could be irrigation. Say you know in your irrigation controller that that is when um, it's scheduled to go off. So it would make sense to have a pop in usage during that time. Um, and then say you go to work from 8 a.m. to about 5 or 4 p.m. Um, so no one's at the home at that time. So you would expect to see lower water usage. Now there are some things in our homes that use water even when we're not there. Um, it could be like regenerating a water softener, or you could have irrigation schedule for when you're not home. Um, but that is a time where you would want to think what could be happening since nobody is there. In this instance, um, WaterSmart did give you a little bit of extra information because it did flag it as orange. So that's going to let you know that there is a suspected leak. By looking at this water data, would you suspect that there is a leak, even though WaterSmart didn't flag it in orange? Um, based on the last slide, the answer is going to be yes, because you can see that every single hour is showing some sort of use, and at no period in the time, no gallons were being used, or no, zero gallons. Uh, it's important to know that the communication preferences in WaterSmart will notify you when more than 15 gallons are used each hour over a 72 hour period. So it can take up to three days to be notified. Um, it can take longer if for some reason you have a data outage um, because once that happens, it resets that 72 hours. So those first 72 hours, you may not see the possible leak tag um, on your account, but that doesn't mean that you don't have a link. Uh, we consider this a very critical period and um, because it's the beginning of a leak and we want you to be able to catch it. So the algorithm is doing the best it can. It's doing what it's designed to do, but it still takes a little bit of a human eye uh, to observe the water usage and kind of make the best judgment of what could be happening. If you want to kind of uh, prep yourself in an instance where there could be a leak that's occurring um, and it's been less than 72 hours, you can change some communication preferences by going up to the settings and then selecting communication preferences. Under communication preferences, there are several alerts that you can opt into that can help give you a, a finer level of detail. Um, on when you're receiving notifications. Um, so a lot of these, um, not leak alerts, but the high use notifications, the bill forecast notifications, the unplanned use notifications, and the utility connect messages have all been available to WaterSmart customers. We're just turning on the leak alerts, um, but there is a way to utilize some of these existing tools um, to help you kind of fill in the gaps. So again, if you look under communication preferences, there are those options. And we'll be checking the leak alerts coming um, up this week. And you have the option of choosing how you want to receive your leak alerts. Most people choose text message, but an email is also available as well. And I wanna focus uh, more on these leak alerts. So once you've opted into the leak alerts, you can click how much to increase the default settings. That's right there. And it'll pop up that second window. Uh, water smart defaults are going to be set high. Initially, we're going to be setting them at 15 gallons per hour of continuous use. 
So you still are going to want to check the portal for continuous use and also be aware that gray bar outages may reset that use in the algorithm. Um, 15 gallon per hour is a little bit higher, but we intend to ratchet that down over time. This is a utility setting. So this is not a, a setting that you can change. You can't um, go into the leak alerts of portion and say, I want it at five gallons per hour or less. Um, I will get to how to get around that in a minute. Um, but if you're the opposite, if you know there's a certain amount of normal use that occurs every hour of every day, um, an example of this might sometimes be during the summer when you have an autofill on your pool, you can see a low level of usage continually um, throughout that time. But say um, you know that you use 20 gallons per hour, you perhaps have some sort of um, humidifier um, that's using that. Uh, you can enter that base amount in, and here an example would be 20. And then you want to make sure that you click that blue check mark in order to save that setting. And when you do that in this instance, you would be alerted of a leak if you were at 35 gallons per hour or, or more, because now WaterSmart and its algorithm thinks that 20 gallons per hour is normal use for you. So another alert that could help you catch um, if it was less than 72 hours would be using this unplanned use notification. Uh, it works differently than leak alerts because it doesn't require that 72 hours before alerting. If you opt into an unplanned use notification, you'll receive an alert as soon as you meet the daily threshold. And so this is set by gallons. If you're unsure what to input for your daily threshold, going back to the track page, you can find your seasonal use graph and you can figure out what's about a normal amount that you use um, per day. You can also set this to be an ongoing notification. So you would check that as never. Or if you were going out of town and expect to not use any water during that time, you can choose a starts on and ends on date. Uh, some people uh, are choosing to go and get a daily threshold notification for anything over zero. And then they're getting text messages daily that's telling them how much they use every day. And they're using that to gain some insight to figure out um, what is and is not normal for their home. So I think this is also a great option if you were expecting to do some sort of work at your home where you may be um, turning water on or off, or you may have um, a break in your system. If you were doing uh, new landscaping, a break in the irrigation, if you set a daily threshold, you would be sure to catch those leaks before they were going on for 72 hours. what do you do once you identify a leak? Well, the WaterSmart platform does have an investigate possible leak uh, tool, and that will pop up automatically if it's, if it's detected a leak um, on your account. Um, it's available under the track tab. This will be by far the fastest service to help you identify where that leak possibly could be. Uh, if you're still struggling after using the tool, uh, we also have the Smart Home Water Guide, and that's available at smarthomewaterguide.org. It's interactive online, and it can help you um, identify where that leak may, may be happening using an isolation method. Uh, this was created for uh, our desert environment and for our local cities. It was created by AMWA, which Scottsdale is a pot part of. So it's a really fantastic resource because it's not generalized so much. It's actually made here. Uh, for the desert Southwest. And it was actually uh, featured on the EPA's um, Fix a Leak Week website. Um, beyond that, if you still can't find the leak, you can call utility billing and ask for a meter reread. Once your water use is confirmed, and if you still have a leak, a meter tech will call you and provide phone assistance on finding your leak. Now, we wanna stress when meters fail, they actually stop counting water. Most people have the perception that they add additional water. That isn't the case. They actually stop counting water, um, which is why we like to replace meters um, when they're starting to get older. 
Uh, if you have an assumption that a leak is a neater failure, you could potentially be wasting valuable time and water may be lost. So if you assume you might have a leak, the best thing to do is try to locate it right away. We recommend regularly assessing your water use and checking for leaks like you would for other parts of your home. Again, um, if those two options using Water Smart's online leak assistance or using the Smart Home Water Guide um, isn't helping you and you still can't identify and fix the leak, um, you can call utility billing. Uh, and if your leak was large enough, you may qualify for a bill adjustment. Once that leak is fixed, um, that's when you'd wanna do the bill adjustment because if the leak isn't fixed yet, um, then it's going to continue on. You're not gonna capture the whole picture. Um, and you have to meet a certain threshold. Um, and again, once that leak is fixed, if you wanna make sure that it's not going to potentially happen again, we do have an outdoor water efficiency check program within the water conservation office. It helps customers learn how to read their water meter and estimate their outdoor water use. So it's focused outdoors because most of our water use does occur outdoor. Um, outdoors. So to schedule that, you can call 480-312-5650. Um, just to make a note, city call volume is high right now, uh, and OX are capped at one per household. So we recommend to get the most out of your time, come prepared for your meeting. You can visit wiseley.com, which is a fantastic resource and has a lot of information about outdoor irrigation and how to schedule your controller and how much water your plants should be using. So if you review that information and you review the Smart Home Water Guide before the city comes out, you'll get more out of your time with the city.